Hello YouTube viewers, my name is Ferris and welcome to my first video. Um, I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina, which means English is not my native language, so I'm sorry about the accent. And I might have some little mistakes in it. Uh, I still have a lot of learning to do in life, and I wanted to speak to you about three topics that include life experiences, a bond, which means the one, and the third is a mix between uh, social anxiety and the other two topics. So I have a text document that I've written down to just remind myself of the ideas I already created like 15 minutes ago before I came to the decision to make a video about it. So the first one is going to be life experience as the first topic. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be building life, which means we live in a society where money is needed. You need a job to do everything else, which means uh, the job, you can create <clears throat> everything else. You, if you want to look good, you can build, you can pay a gym, you can build, you can drink uh, proteins, you can do a lot of stuff. You want a tattoo, you can have it. You need a job, you need money to build on yourself. And you have to understand that understanding, you have to understand that time doesn't give opportunities. Only actions do. A lot of people might say timing uh, or time fixes everything, but no, uh, sadly, that's not true. You have to prove yourself that you can do it. You have to show yourself. You have to actually take the chance to make it happen. Some stuff come by accident or by waiting, but mostly you are the one that has to make the action and effort to, do, to just do so. And excuse me, I'm a bit anxious since it's my first YouTube video, so I apologize if I stutter. But um, let's continue. So you have to realize that a lot of people have been past what you have already been past. So learning from people's mistakes is a better way to better yourself, if that makes any sense. My brother or sister or aunt or whoever already lived past our lives, if you're still young. So learning from the, their mistakes Asking for help, asking for tips with them is going to probably uh, let you avoid a lot of mistakes that they did and make you a better person. And obviously, you have to work on yourself. And how do you work on yourself is by, it all connects with a job, right? You need a job to make sure you get the money. And to get money, with money, I mean, you can have friends. I'm not saying you uh, can just go outside and uh, talk to them. Yes, you can, you're friends, right? But you need to improve on your social interactions, which means working on yourself. If you, example, if your motivation is to get a girlfriend, you have to stay, you have to go out, find a job, and work, work, work your way to actually pay for a coffee every time they come and just keep on doing it close to girls. It can be bars, it can be clubs, it can be coffee shops, it can be anything. Just, um, you have to just, you have to work on yourself to eat if you want something else as well. Um, money is just needed in this life, so that's how it works. You need motivation to do a lot of stuff. But motivation can be a job that you have to take. It can be um, um, 
whatever motivates you, I guess. <laughs> In a way, people some play games, video games to just take up their minds of problems or because they're just interested in them. But I just, for me, I listen to music and we're just unique in our own ways, ways on what helps us keep going for the, for the future. So basically find a job, work on yourself and there's just going to be a job and another balloons are going to appear that you can get motivation for girls, find a job, motivation for friends and less anxiety, help your friends and they will help you. That's how it works. You want to open a, you want to open a coffee a rest, uh, or a restaurant or a coffee shop or whatever you want to do. Your friends are going to be there. They're going to attract other customers into coming and they're going to be helping. And at the end, what you have to do is say, thank you friends for helping me, helping me in my life, helping me with the girlfriends, helping me with this, helping me with that. Everything evolves with just a friend to another friend to another friend. It's possible to live alone and deal with stuff alone, but it's much more preferred to have somebody with you. If you don't have a friend, just either go out, find some people, do approaches, or you probably already have a friend that's from primary school or a secondary school that's going to help you connect with other friends. His friends, you're going to meet his friends, it's going to be another friend, another he's going to be, you know, how it works. Uh, or that's how you can get a girlfriend by your friend already knowing a other girl that you might like. You know how it works. So <laughs> that's number one of the life experience. That's how you build it with a job. That's how you work on yourself. You have to be patient and you have to remember that time doesn't fix it. Your actions fix it actually. Company is very important. And the second topic I want to speak to you is about most likely a relationship is or a bond or the one. Uh, from my experience and how you actually treat them is I had three real in real life relationships. One lasted a month, second lasted five months and third lasted a year. Now it all comes with how you actually manage to do it. You need a job to just uh, get the girls and do this, but how do you find the one? Well, the simple answer to the one is it doesn't exist. The one doesn't exist. There's simple types that people like, but the special one or the one you're in love with, uh, or that you have something in common with doesn't necessarily have to mean you have to chase her because she will just come if that's, if she actually is interested in you in that way. But you have to be smart on the steps. You have to be yourself, but you can't be dumb. You have to be smart. Um, how do I say this? I had free in real life relationships, which never fulfilled me in a way. They gave me hope that you can love. And I always was the type where I give once, give a little bit more than what they give me. And just because I'm weak to this topic, I am a little bit emotional about it because I still have a lot of learning experience to do, but that's how you improve from it. You learn from previous relationships and what you did and you fix it on the second or the third, on the fourth. Otherwise it's going to be such a mess. If you can, uh, if you struggle with finding girls, there's always types. As I mentioned on the first, you could do it by a job, hang out with friends. But you, if you don't want to do that, there's uh, cold approaches. There are videos all around the YouTube with uh, how to do cold approaches, how to be yourself, how to compliment a girl and talk to her. But that's not the topic of the video. 
the topic is to find the motivation in yourself to make something happen. And as well, talking about my life a bit, maybe it's connectable in a way. So you have to understand that if you wait, if you actually believe that there's the one for you only, you can either wait a long time or maybe forever because that's just not gonna work. There are a lot of girls that are willing to get, show you what they got if you give them a chance. Some girls in the streets are probably shy to ask you out because you look cute. You are the one that has to make a decision to actually do it. That's how life works. We're in, in a generation where girls don't really approach guys. Guys are the ones that are usually the types to do so. That's just the world it is. But what can you do? Um, and the third topic, as I mentioned before, is probably going to be around social anxiety and the mix of the both two topics in once. So if you have social anxiety, you have to just... you. That means you're probably an overthinker, if I think about it. You're an overthinker. You think too much about before doing anything. You're like, oh, um, should I say hello to my friends? Should I not? Will they question me? Will they, uh, will they do this? Will they do that? I, I get it. Because I was an overthinker as well. I had a social anxiety when, until I just found the motivation within. And the motivation was a simple thing. Social anxiety is not a disease, it's a mental state. Everything is a mental state around this. This controls everything. Your life, there's much more in life than in what you think. So what you do is you don't think about it, you just go and you talk to your friends. Talk about anything. Talk about this mouse uh, or... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> this jacket, it's cool, it's red, it's its better than being silent. And then after you accomplish yourself with just proving that you can actually do it, which is not hard, then you will just gain motivation to keep on going. You get motivation to just keep on uh, throwing out ideas and what you want to do with them. Do you want to drop by to a coffee place? Do you want to... I hang out in their car. Do you want to drink beer? Don't drink beer if you're below 18, at least. You're only, like, I'm just saying only old 18 or older can. In some countries, it's different. But I'm just saying, <laughs> that's not the point. I'm just saying uh, you have to work on yourself to get past the social anxiety. And I'll, there are life issues in my and which stop you from it, it happens. But you have to just, we, we all deal with it in our specific way. We live a similar life, but we deal with it differently. It's not always the case, since some people have lived past other moments that other people didn't. But in most cases, we just live the same life with a different experience different experience we deal with it different ways some people prefer to be alone because they're unmotivated to do, to do anything some people prefer being with friends some people i don't know some people uh like playing games to forget about the problems or instead of facing them we all live the same as i said we all live the same story but we deal with it with different ways Different countries obviously make different life. That's as well what I want wanted to talk about is it's just from my head. Uh, a lot of uh, people today meet via online, probably most likely, because of the COVID. It's the same thing. People meet over. Uh, uh, there are probably a lot of people from the Netherlands or Germany or uh, Belgium 
in on the internet instead of just randomly uh, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say what I'm trying actually what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of ways to meet new people if you're from the other country which is something I don't like but um, what can I do example you're on the discord you're talking with uh, 15 people probably four or five of them are going to be Germans or three to four of them are going to be from Netherlands and there's not not a single guy that's going to be from your country because your country is not that popular and it just makes sense that the different countries doesn't just make different opportunities not only with a motive, uh, with money wise not, not not only with um, uh, the other country is more rich or the country earns more money or that country hasn't been through a war not in those ways sure it does affect but not in those ways in my opinion it just changes everything and with that what i mean is there's i believe in a butterfly effect a butterfly effect is a little thing that you can change in your life or the little thing that you do is going to probably change your whole future you could probably meet a guy from the netherlands and you could uh, next day you know you're there you're living in there and that's just a little thing you did that just changed your whole life and that's what i mean people uh, butterfly effect exists in my opinion so you have to find the motivation to find it For example you could um, help a grandma out pick up uh, the groceries that uh, it fell on the floor right you just pick it up you help her and maybe the next day she uh, asks you to come to, uh, to come to her place as a like a reward right you, she, you come there, she makes you cookies, she's grateful that you helped her. And then next thing you know, she gave you something precious just because you did that small thing and helped her out just by picking up the groceries that fell on the floor. The butterfly effect exists, in my opinion, at least. Uh, I've been past life. I left my home because of my family issues. My dad doesn't like me. My mother is begging me to come back, but I'm not, not gonna do so because it just doesn't feel right to do. But I'm sharing this because everybody has life issues. You just have to deal with it a different way. I hope this video helped a lot. And I, as I said, it's my first YouTube video I have some anxiety in myself about making this or making it the best I can, but I hope it helps. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.